The main difference is that a dual-core processor has two separate cores, allowing you to run two different threads of a process at the same time, whereas a quad-core processor has four separate cores, allowing you to run four threads of a process at the same time twice as fast as a dual-core. MedCPU will examine dual-core versus quad-core processors in this article to assist you in selecting the best processor for your needs. You'll know the difference between a quad-core and a dual-core computer, as well as which is better for you. What is a dual-core processor? A central processor unit with two processors is known as a dual-core CPU. Dual-core processors have their own controllers, allowing them to perform more efficiently and effectively than single-core processors. Because there are two processors, they can do jobs faster. Dual-core technology is used in the AMD X2, Intel Core Duo, and other processors. When switching between threads, computer processors are frequently compelled to come to a halt. Dual-core CPUs, on the other hand, can manage two threads at the same time. Hyperthreading is the term for this procedure. A dual-core CPU can last longer and run at faster speeds than a multi-core processor. There are various disadvantages to dual-core processors. A single-core central process unit CPU, can outrun a dual-core CPU due to its quicker clock speed. A single-core processor running at 3.8 GHz can be more efficient than a dual-core processor running at 1.8 GHz when doing a single task. Some programs are incompatible with dual-core processors. Multi-core processors can do hyper-threading faster than a CPU with only four cores, therefore dual-core processors can't do numerous tasks at once. What is a quad-core processor? A quad-core CPU is a four-processor central processing unit. Chip designers can get improved performance without increasing the clock speed by using many cores. The operating system can then distribute the processing load over multiple processors to speed up the operation. The AMD Phenom X4, Intel Core 2 Quad, and other quad-core processors are examples. Quad-core processors have a number of advantages. Because they can handle multiple tasks at once, we can talk about quad-core performance. Multitasking is possible with quad-core processors. VLC, for example, cannot be run on a single-core processor because it consumes a lot of resources. However, because VLC may use its core, a quad-core process can handle this work. Quad-core processors are capable of doing non-processing intensive jobs, and they are said to use extremely little power. Quad-core processors have a number of drawbacks. Single-core and dual-core CPUs utilize less energy than multi-core processors. To keep the laptop from overheating, the owner would need to purchase cooling devices. This is an expensive technique because smartphones do not have enough storage and hence do not require cooling systems. Consumption of energy Multiple cores will utilize more power because energy is distributed between different cores. Quad-core CPUs consume more energy, and so require a larger battery, than dual-core processors. Despite technological advancements that have made multi-core CPUs more energy efficient, this rule remains relevant. Quad-core laptops may need to be recharged more quickly in the following situations. Quad-core or dual-core CPUs in the same battery size are found in two laptops. The same program is executing at the same time. Overall, the battery life of a quad-core processor will be shorter than that of a dual-core processor. Speed More cores equals quicker speed, as a general rule. This isn't always the case, though. This will depend on the application you're running and whether it can take advantage of your laptop's multi-core CPUs. However, not all applications are capable of doing so. The aggregate speed of numerous processors is also determined by the clock speed and core architecture of each CPU design. Programming Multiple cores aren't always beneficial to programming. To cut compilation time, launch your application rapidly, and simulate it quickly, the base frequency is far more critical. In some cases, virtualization is a viable solution. Virtualization, on the other hand, is only useful if you plan to run numerous heavy apps on each VM you build. Is a quad-core processor better than a dual-core processor? No. Yes, virtual machine testing is possible. For game engines, gaming synchronization is a must. Before you may go on to the next action, you must complete the previous one. 
Although some game sites promise to be able to increase your gaming skills, this is dubious. Final Cut Pro Video Editing Adobe Premiere Lightworks is a program developed by Adobe. Since the beginning, Sony Vegas Pro Corel Video Studio iMovie AVS Video Editor editing has been a single-threaded activity. If you utilize any of this software, you won't notice a big increase in your workflow. Rendering, encoding, and previewing can all be done with a quad-core machine. However, there is no way to get more than six cores. Beyond six cores, there is essentially no performance gain. To improve rendering, encoding, and previewing, a laptop with a quad-core processor is suggested. Performance versus price. It's also worth noting that quad-core processors are more expensive than dual-core processors. This is crucial to know since you don't want your money to be wasted on power that you won't utilize. You don't want to settle for a laptop that isn't powerful enough for your needs. It's critical to find the correct balance between quality and cost. If you're looking for a budget laptop that can handle light daily duties, a dual-core laptop is the ideal option. If you plan to stream, play, and record games or use many applications at the same time, a laptop with four cores or more is an excellent choice. Which CPU should I go with based on my requirements? To answer this question, you must first determine the function of your laptop. A Core i7 is a wonderful option if you want a laptop that can last an entire day on a single charge. A Core M or Core i3 processor is a fantastic choice if you like a light laptop. Keep in mind that newer CPUs are being introduced every year, thus your answer will change. What factors influence the speed of a laptop's RAM or processor? Processors are in charge of powering the laptop, while RAM is in charge of processing the processor's work. The more RAM a computer has, the faster it can process data. That's why having adequate RAM on your laptop is crucial. Is it possible for a laptop to have two processors? A laptop cannot, in general, have two processors. To get a more precise response, you'll need to know what kind of processor it has and what operating system it runs. If your laptop has one of these, it can only have one processor.